Hey guys, in this episode of Hub Fuel, we're gonna be talking about the newly released customer journey analytics. This was a super cool update that came out at Inbound 2022. And essentially what this allows you to do is take the visualizations of Google Analytics and mix that with the simplicity of the HubSpot report builder. And what this will allow you to do is create visualizations on your overall marketing journey and how contacts flow through that actual journey and where your volume is, but more importantly, where your drop-offs are as well. So being able to really look at your journey from a high level and looking at where you can optimize and improve because again, HubSpot gives you that platform of all those tools, those native functions, but being able to see where the quick wins are and where you can really optimize is where the value in the platform lies. So without further ado, let's get into it. So where you wanna be heading is in HubSpot under reports. You can see whenever you go into analytics tools, it's prompting you that customer journey reports have just launched. Obviously this won't be here forever. So if you go to reports and then reports once more, it will take you to the overall reporting library. From here, if you go to create a report, you will see that customer journey reports is now an action on the screen. If we select that, what you will actually see is we can now start to build journey analytics based on visualizations we want to build. So down the left-hand side, there's certain touch points which we may want to actually build onto our visualization. So we could do it on life cycle stages and start to show how do life cycle stages interact with more soft elements of the marketing journey. Or we could just create a general funnel such as page views to form submissions to anything there and after. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna show how this works. So if we scroll down to where it says web pages, we're gonna drag page visitors as our first touch point on our journey analytics. What we're then gonna do is start to build in a bit of conversion elements. So I want to then look at how many people viewed a form and then how many people submitted a form. And then what I want to do following that is I may want to look at under life cycle stages, how many marketing qualified leads came from that. So as you can see here, you can do a maximum of seven as of right now at the time of recording. And we can then select the visualization as well as the date range. As of right now, you can only basically do the last 30 days of data that may subject to change in the future. But if we do the past 30 days, that will give a holistic overview. And what we can then do is press run report. As you can see, HubSpot will then start to build your report on the right hand side where you can see it's refreshing information. It may take a minute or so just as it collects the data. And as you can see, it's now building essentially a contact funnel of the last 30 days of the different touch points we've built in our journey. So we can see here when we hover over it, 66 contacts basically visited, visited pages in the last 30 days. Of those 66, only 42 looked at a form. So that's 42 individuals, not 42 form views, don't get that mixed up. And then only 33 of those contacts went on to actually do a form submission. And then what we can do is how many of those contacts were either marketing qualified leads or became marketing qualified leads. And what you're quickly doing is seeing a bit of a waterfall and how that transcends down the journey. So we can see overall, the total conversion of that path is 33.33%. Whereas the average time to conversion is 31.5 hours. So we know that when we're trying to push people down the journey, it takes an average 30 hours between the stages for someone to actually do that for the entirety of the journey. So we can actually look at if we're looking to do this and we have a lead time or a deadline we're working to, we have to allow for 30 hours for someone to go from step one through the funnel of what we've just built. If you scroll down, you can see a tabular element. So you can see here that you've got the next step conversion, how many conversions happened there. So again, it's building on the kind of fundamentals of funnel reporting that HubSpot had out of the box as well. Now you can export this data, which will allow you to export all this to a table or an Excel or a CSV manner. And what we're just gonna do is call this basically customer journey, uh, pages visited to forms to MQLs. We can then save that report like a normal report and add it to an existing dashboard. Alternatively, what we can do is whenever you've built your actual fil your touch points, we can add filters. So we could say that maybe it's only on a particular page. So only certain URLs we want to track on this. Maybe on forms, it's certain forms. Or maybe on the marketing qualified leads, we just want to obviously track marketing qualified leads. 
The really cool thing about this is obviously funnel reporting up to now has been quite formulaic in how it's laid out. So it's standardized. You can actually use this in tandem with custom behavioral events, which we've done a video on, which we will put in the link on the description. But essentially you can create custom events like custom goals in Google Analytics and track micro goals within your journey, not just hard conversion points as well. So from there, you would just press save, add to dashboard, select your dashboard, and then from there, you would save it. And that's essentially how to build a customer journey in HubSpot. Again, super easy to do. We've done it there in six minutes and it's given us some really insightful data. Everything as standard is interactive. So once it's on the dashboard, you'll be able to click in and see the contacts like so, and also export that data going forward. So really just jump in guys, it's in beta at the moment. See what you can do with it. See all that granular data you probably didn't have access to beforehand. And let's see what you can build with Journey Analytics in HubSpot. If I don't speak to you until next time, take care and thanks for watching this video.